Good morning, everyone. We're about to start. I draw your attention to your cell phones, please. Please attend to your cell phones. We have two tributes followed by the remembrance. So we ask Lacey and friends to come now, please. Good morning. Melissa, the boy mom, have you ever read the meaning of a word in the dictionary and then seen it so embodied fully in real life? The definition of indomitable is impossible to subdue or defeat. We, the boy moms, witnessed that fighting spirit firsthand. She sought to give her children the best of everything she could. She was laser focused on their future and the foundation that she wanted to lay. Even as she experienced the incredible loss of her angel baby, a loss that would render most unable to function, and the trials of her mother's illness and subsequent passing, somehow she was not deterred. She never took her eyes off the goals, the best education, and if she felt they needed additional to the lessons at school, she became the teacher herself. The best in sport, swimming, football, tennis, you name it, she found it. The best activities to identify their gifts and talents, chess, taekwondo, that's what Melissa sought for her boys, and talents and gifts they have. Watch these boys and how they perform in everything they attempt. She honed their talents, she taught them about excellence, she, fought, she found the coaches, she drove them back and forth, she encouraged them, she pushed them to be their best, and she cheered them from the sidelines. Although her body is now at rest, her spirit continues to fight. Every time Adam, Aiden, and Axel come to your minds, it's Melissa's fighting spirit. Listen when she calls, do what you can to give them love in honor of the indomitable spirit that was Melissa. Melissa was, excuse my voice, those are two words that I had never imagined using in this context today. You see, in our frequent conversations, the vibrancy, effervescence, brilliance, determination, and warmth that I experienced in her presence was so potent, whether in person or on the phone, that I could never imagine my life without it. The summer of 2018 marked a significant milestone in our lives as mothers. Unknowingly to us at the, at the, at the time, a sisterhood was born, a bond between mothers who had one of the most important roles in our society today, that of raising sons. The men of tomorrow, for Melissa, her sons were more than just her priority. They were her legacy, as she would say in our frequent talks. Adam, Aidan, and Axel were her motivation for everything she did in life. There was only one standard for Melissa, excellence, which she demonstrated not only for her family, but for her friends as well. I'll give you an example. On Melissa's birthday in September of last year, I decided that I was going to plan a birthday brunch for her at my home. As mothers, we often put the needs of our families above ourselves, and Melissa was no exception. I wanted her birthday to be all about her. I served delicious pastries, fruits, and cocktails. But Melissa, even on her special day, couldn't just sit and receive all that was being done for her. She said, Lace, we have sweet, but we don't have savory. I'm going to make an omelet. 
And so, using the ingredients from my fridge, Melissa made the most delicious omelet I've ever consumed. But that was just the kind of person she was to everyone who had the privilege to get to know her. I am grateful for the time we shared. Today, we mourn the loss of Melissa, our dear friend, our sister. We will miss you. My dearest Melissa, I could not have imagined writing this dedication to you. In fact, words will never give justice to the amazing woman you were. We bonded over the loss of our mothers that led to a special sisterhood. We often spoke about how strong, supportive, and protective our mothers were, and it helped us as we maneuvered through our own motherhood journey. From the countless play dates we did to keep our sanity during the summers, the holiday parties, gift exchanges with the children, to school runs, it was truly special doing, doing it all, all of, alongside with you, my friend. I am truly missing you, my beautiful, intellectual, and sophisticated friend. I pray that you are at rest. Your boys will forever have a guardian angel. Melissa, our boy mom group will never be the same. We will forever love and continue to miss you. A part of our puzzle is gone forever. But we will never forget you. Our hearts are broken, but in our brokenness, we will do our best and do what moms do. We will pick up the pieces. Cheers to your memories, our dear friend and sister. Fly high and soar with the angels. You will remain in our hearts forever. My brothers and sisters, good morning. I invite you to take out the cell phones again and attend to them. We still hear them ringing and it's disturbing the whole broadcast, okay? Thank you, God bless you. are far behind me where troubles melt like lemon drops away above the chimney tops that's where you'll find me somewhere over the rainbow Birds fly, birds fly over the rainbow. Why then, oh why can't I?
If happy little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow, why, oh, why can't I? Good morning, everyone. This is Julian's remembrance, but I am reading it for him. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast, and it is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects and it always trusts. It always hopes and always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. And that's from Corinthians 14, verses 4 to 8. Melissa Patrice Walter Silvera was born on September the 11th, 1981, was not merely a collection of moments within our home. She was the heartbeat. Her story woven into the fabric of our family unfolded with grace, determination, and a brilliance that illuminated every corner of our lives. From the early days of Mona Prep to a time at Immaculate Conception High, Melissa exhibited a rare com combination of composure articulation, and exceptional intelligence. Her journey continued to the University of Virginia, where she delved into the world of chemical engineering, a field that resonated with her inquisitive mind and determined spirit. Upon her return to Jamaica, Melissa transitioned into the professional realm, finding her place at Petrojam as a chemical engineer. Her talents, however, extended beyond the technical realm. She possessed a natural flair for planning and logistics that would become the hallmark of her career. Even after leaving Petrojam, Melissa continued to navigate the business world with her mother, Lesline, showcasing valor, resilience, and an unparalleled work ethic. Melissa's aspirations were not confined to the workplace. She was a force of nature, a nation builder in her own right, 
whose ambitions were deeply rooted in a desire to create a brighter future for our family and country. She always had this dream to build her own logistics hub in Cow Bay, St. Thomas, and she invested both her time and resources in building out a shovel-ready project. Her relentless pursuit of progress, sometimes misconstrued as overbearing, was in reality a manifestation of her profound love, especially for her country and her family. As a wife and mother, Melissa was unparalleled. Her dedication knew no bounds, and she approached parenthood with an unwavering commitment from the smallest milestones to significant life events. She stood by our sons, Adam, Aidan, Justin, and Axel, with a radiance of pride and joy at both Rainbow Land, Hillel Academy, and Stella Maris Prep. Her love for them was a driving force that shaped the very core of her existence. Melissa's faith in God was the bedrock of her life, providing strength and solace through life's peaks and valleys. As we face a future without her presence, my determination strengthens to nurture and pass on the spiritual legacy to our sons. Beyond her immediate family, Melissa shared an inseparable bond with her mother, Leslie. Their connection just radiated with love and compassion and understanding. As I strive to honor Melissa's memory, I hold close the lessons of compassion, support, and unwavering love that she embodied. Melissa, your legacy isn't confined to the walls of our home. It ripples through the interconnected web of relationships and love you so beautifully cultivated. Your memory remains a comforting beacon of inspiration and enduring love for us all. As we, we navigate the void left by your absence, your physical absence. I am committed to carrying forward the flame of your love, ensuring that your legacy flourishes in the hearts of our sons and the countless lives you touched. And as is written by Aristotle, he said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence then is not an act, but a habit. This was Melissa. <laughs>
death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. If we live, we live to the Lord. And if we die, we die to the Lord. So then, whether we live or whether we die, we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. The Lord gives, the Lord takes away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed are the dead who die in the Lord. Even so said the Spirit, for they rest from their labors. I bless the body of our sister Melissa with holy water that recalls her baptism of which St. Paul writes, all of us who were baptized into Christ Jesus were baptized into his death. By baptism in his death, we were buried together with him so that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father, we too might live a new life. For if we have been united with him by likeness to his death, so shall we be united with him by likeness to his resurrection. On the day of her baptism, Melissa was incorporated into Christ. On the day of Christ's coming, may she be clothed with glory. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our sister Melissa. We thank you for giving her to us, her family and friends, to know and love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us who mourn. Give us faith to see in death the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence, we may continue our course on earth until by your call we are reunited with those who have gone before through jesus christ our lord amen amen <laughs> Entering to Jerusalem, let us go to God's house. With the healthy and the sick, with the worker and the weak, let us go to God's house. Entering to Jerusalem, let us go to God's house. Come and run with the wind, with the God who reigns in peace. Let us go to God's house, we go celebrate. We go celebrate. We go celebrate, O oh Israel. 
praise the name of the Lord on high. Praise his name in song. Praise the Lord with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song. Praise the Lord. Enter into Jerusalem, make we walk down there. With the young and the old, with the little and the large, make we walk down there. Enter into Jerusalem, make we walk down there. Swing to the breeze, with the God who reigns in peace, make we walk down there. We go celebrate, we go celebrate. We go celebrate, O oh Israel. Praise the name of the Lord on high. Praise his name in song. Praise the Lord with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song. With a heavenly song, praise the Lord. Enter into Jerusalem, let us go to God's house. With your papa and your mama, with your uncle and your aunt, let us go to God's house. Enter into Jerusalem, let us go to God's house. Run and catch a breeze with the God who reigns in peace. Let us go to God's house. We go celebrate. We go celebrate. We go celebrate. O oh, Israel, praise the name of the Lord on high. Praise his name in song. Praise the Lord with the heavenly song, with the heavenly song, with the heavenly song. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. O oh God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to life. Grant that your servant Melissa, being raised with Christ, may know the strength of his presence and rejoice in his eternal glory who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading is taken from Lamentations 3, 21 to 26 and 31 and 32. This I recall to my mind, therefore have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. They are new every morning, great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is God unto them that wait for him, 
to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. 31 and 32. For the Lord will not cast off forever, but though he cause grief, yet will he have compassion according to the multitude of his mercies. The word of the Lord. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green, green pastures. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. He leads me beside the still, still water. He restoreth my soul, He restoreth my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for His own name's sake. Yea, though I walk in the valley, the valley of death, though I walk in death's valley, I fear no evil, for Lord, you're with, with me, thy rod and thy staff, thy rod and thy staff shall bring me comfort. Thou preparest a table in the presence of my enemies, Thou anointest my head with oil, and my cup runneth over. Yea, surely goodness and mercy, they shall follow me, and I will dwell in God's house forevermore. And I will dwell and I will dwell, and I will dwell in God's house forevermore. The Lord is my shepherd, and I shall never want. second reading is taken from the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 31 to 39. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not withhold his son but gave him up for us all. Will he not with him also give us everything else? Who will bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? It is Jesus Christ who died. Yes, who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed intercedes for us. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Will hardship or distress, or persecution or famine, or nakedness or peril or sword? As it is written, for your sake, we are being killed all day long. We are counted as sheep to be slaughtered. 
No, in all things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor death, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Jesus Christ our Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alle, alle, alleluia. Alle, 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 alleluia. Alle, 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 alleluia. Alle. The Lord be with you. And also with you continuation of the Holy Gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ according to John. Glory to Christ our Savior. Jesus said, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, 
Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Peace, I leave with you. My peace, I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. This is the gospel of Christ. Praise Christ. Alle, 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 no, ya. Alle, 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 no, ya. Alle, 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 no, ya. Alle. Let us pray. O Lord Adonai, keep us still so that we may know your will. O Lord Yahweh, draw us closer to yourself and keep us still so that we may know your will. O Lord, Yahweh Adonai, touch our hearts and calm all our anxieties and keep us still so that we may know your will. In the name of the loving, living, and liberating God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us be seated. We have come today to celebrate the life of a mother and a daughter. We have come to celebrate the life of a disciple of Jesus. We have come to celebrate one who proclaimed the Christian faith. We come as children of the baptized community, the community of faith. We are all joined together through baptism. Baptism in which water has been poured on us. The cross was uh, scarred on our foreheads as we were named uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Please pardon the traffic of Alfred Tree. They constantly provide competition with the sermon. Beloved, we come as a baptized community. The community in which we proclaim the Christ who was raised for us, crucified and raised in order to give us a sense of purpose and meaning. In the gospel we heard, there is a point in the text that Jesus proclaimed which we are to listen to today. In that narrative from John 14, verses 1 to 6, we hear a phrase issued by Jesus. I am the way. But more so, in verse 27, Jesus declares that the peace which we all desire, we will not get it through following 
the glitter and the glamour of the world. So Jesus says, I am the way. And Jesus points us in that way by declaring prayer is the means through that way. Early morning, Jesus went to a quiet, lonely place to pray. In all the stress and strain of ministry, Jesus took the point of going to a place to pray, to align himself with the purposes and the agenda of God the Father. For as he was baptized in the Jordan and stepped out of the waters of the Jordan, he heard a voice from heaven saying, this is my beloved in whom I am well pleased. As the dove alighted on him, indicating that the Spirit of God had now anointed him for the purposes of saving human humanity from sin, evil, and death. He is the anointed favored one who has taken on our human frame. In him, God the Father becomes incarnate. God the Father creator takes on human pain and mortality and suffering and death. God the Father takes on our human issues to the point where he was crucified innocently but sin and death and evil could not stop the purposes or the power of God the Father. So Jesus was raised. And that, sisters and brothers, is the root of our faith. For God the Father knows the intention of the human heart that we can be not only wayward, but we can follow the cognitive machinations of our own minds. That as human beings, we are caught up with our own self-absorption and selfish sins, and believe that we are the center, not just of the world, but of the universe. It is sad when we refuse to follow the way of Jesus. When we believe that our way is always the right way. When we take on the issue of being so self-absorbed to the point that we like to take a selfie of ourselves. You see me, here I am. The egotistic disposition of our nature that loves to be admired. And so, it is expressed in diabolical ways. It is expressed when persons become so cross-thread and hearts become so twisted that evil and rage and anger is manifested because it has gotten caught up in his own self-centered self and believe that I run things and I man run things. You know, I must share with you something. And uh, I heard it from, what we say in Jamaica, the horse's mouth, to show how we tend to be as some Jamaicans. A certain movie star, I won't call his name, well known. You know, in his movies, it's even a half and I might give it away and I whip. And this movie star was on vacation in a quite quiet place in Jamaica, down in the West. And someone saw him and said, but hi, you are, what are you doing here? He said, Shh, I can come here. He said, why you don't go on to Hawaii? And he said, no, 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 I come here. The person said, then why you come here in Jamaica? He said, see, when I come here, Nobody noticed me. I said, what? I said, no, no Jamaican noticed me. 
And so how that? He said, boy, I see it. Every Jamaican believe in say him is a star. So I should want fit them autograph. Them don't want mine. As them say, every nigga is a star. Until an American come and recognize me and make big excitement. But the Jamaican, he is king of the walk. So we have taken it to the level where we can unleash our own self-centeredness in the form of every man must eat a bread at the expense of someone else's life. How sad. How sad. How sad. What a sin. What a sin. And our collective response is silence. Jesus stepped out of the waters of the Jordan, having been baptized, indicating that all who are baptized are incorporated into the very substance and nature of God. That God seeks for us to walk in that way. The way of Jesus Christ. And Jesus invites us to be formed spiritually. And taught us that prayer. The one prayer that fits everybody. To acknowledge that God creator parent is a source of all things. The one who has given us the breath of life. The one who has given us a sense of identity. The one who has given us minds to think and more so hearts to love. This loving, caring, creator parent has given us these gifts. And so Jesus taught us that we must seek to express gratitude. Let's say, Abba Patir, our Father, who art in heaven. You are the ruler of heaven and earth. Not me, but you. Your domain is not just the world, but the heart of the soul of every human person. You reign. Your kingdom come. Your will must be pursued. Not my will. And Jesus expressed that in the Garden of Gethsemane, praying to the point where his sweat was like drops of blood. He says, Father, take this bitter cup. Do I need to face the cross? And in the end, Jesus says, not my will, but thy will be done. Following the will and way of Jesus, requires us praying the Lord's Prayer and living the Beatitudes. Be merciful as the Father is merciful. Be merciful, a part of the essence of the Beatitudes. Even Fidel Castro says, as a Christian, I would also live the Beatitudes. But how can you express mercy when you are so wrapped up and caught up with your own self-centeredness and absorption? To live the Beatitudes, nurtured by loving God and neighbor self. Melissa had a deep faith. She was baptized here in 1981. I held her in my arms, 1981. Then as a young, fresh, green, good-looking priest, now getting old. When she returned after study, she came to see me in a park camp when I was then chaplain of the Jamaica Defense Force. And since being here, she would come and see me every month. The office staff knew that once Melissa walked in, then everything stopped for the next two hours. No matter what was happening, Melissa had an appetite 
for excellence. Only the best was good enough. She also had a heart of compassion, always, for the poorest and the most vulnerable in the society, and desired to do what she could, even by making connection for the poor, the poorest, the most vulnerable, and the voiceless in the society. That was her heart. Even as she stepped from Petrojam and went through various avenues, she remained rooted in her faith. Each month we discussed many issues. I visited her home. I visited her home with her children and with Joylan, as I presided at her wedding and the baptism of her children. She remained a person of deep faith. A person rooted in the faith of Jesus Christ. As she was initiated into the faith through baptism, she experienced the love and care of Leslie. Many would think that she was spoiled by Leslie. However, they should have met her grandparents, her grandmother, parents, grandfather, members of this church. They too started the process. Leslie just continued it and finished it all. But it was here at St. Andrew that she was nurtured in the faith, the Sunday school of the church. And therefore, in all the storms and stress of life, it was her spiritual nurturing that strengthened her to face so much. Even that issue where a parent had to preside over the funeral of a child, it goes against the natural order. For as parents, we look forward to our children doing that for us. It was her faith that nurtured her. It was her faith that strengthened her. It was her faith that sustained her. And so, beloved, we are invited to invest more of our energies, more of our time by being nurtured in the faith of Jesus Christ through the practice of the Lord's Prayer. We too often take life for granted. We too often take so many things for granted. It is a Christian church that invites us to be shaped through that prayer so that we are strengthened by the Spirit of God to live like Jesus, to walk the way of Jesus, and not to be tempted by the waywardness and the glitter and the glamour of the world. Oh, beloved, you and I know that the world has a very magnetic pull. The world will very often try to seduce us into a particular way of consumerism and materialism and to be self-absorbed 
and to be overwhelmed by our own selfish ways. And so the church, through its worship and its songs of praise, on a Sunday morning invites us to be in the Lord's house and at the Lord's table, to reinforce in our hearts that God the parent is the source of all things and the source of our very existence, not ourselves. So don't get too caught up with your own self. You know that story about the man at the airport? I think it was a certain politician of high rank. And passed everybody and went up to the front. So the person he said, I'm here to check in. They said, but there's a line. There's a line where don't you said, do you know who I am? And they said, what? You are to step back in the line. He said, don't you know who I am? The lady went over the speaker and said, Hello, everybody. There's a man here asking me who I am. He don't know himself. That's when we get so caught up with our own selves. Jesus invites us through that prayer to know God, the parent creator, who sustains us and who has given us new life to the death and resurrection. So Jesus says, do not be anxious. Do not be worried. Have faith in God. Have faith also in me. In my Father's presence, there is space for everybody. You know that's the amazing thing about God? That God's love is equal for everybody. That God don't love you more than he love me. That God don't say, well, boy, you know, because I'm in a church, we love him more than you all. That's all. No. God's love for you and you and you is equal. It's a love that is unmatched by any parent. Because those parents who have two or three, as I do, you know that sometimes you have a little <clears throat> for one more than the other. Let's be pure. Let's talk truth in church. We're in church, right? Let's say amen. Amen. Thank you. But God's love is not like that. Even when we transgress and are wayward and say, God still loves us equally and reaches out with that love equally to all of us. And that love constantly forgives to embrace us so that we experience wholeness and the joy and peace that the world cannot give. That loving God, that patient, caring God, the God who will forgive. And nothing is outside the reach of that forgiveness. For well, God forgives and forgives and forgives and forgives and forgives and forgives human love can't match it because when we are hurt and pained by deception and betrayal and those things in relationships we become angry and even when we try to forgive somehow we carry it in our veins and at times it is even at the deathbed that we call to the priests to make that confession in order that we can do that peaceful transition into the sanctuary of God's presence beyond death. Such love embraces the heart. So that's why Paul says, Neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nothing can separate, nothing can separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. When you embrace that love, when you are embodied and encircled and enfolded with that love, then you experience 
true joy and real peace. So Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen. In the name of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Apostles' Creed as printed in our order of service. Let us stand the Creed of the Baptized. All baptized persons are invited to participate in the Creed of the Baptism, the Apostles' Creed. In assurance of eternal life given at baptism, let us proclaim our faith and say, I believe in God and the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He For our sister Melissa, let us pray to the Lord who said, I am the resurrection and I am life. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Melissa and dry the tears of those who weep. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. You raised the dead to life. Raise our sister Melissa to eternal life. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our sister Melissa to the joys of heaven. Our sister Melissa was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give her fellowship with your saints. She was nourished with your body and blood. Grant her a place at the table in your heavenly kingdom. Console Melissa's family in their grief. Surround them with your love and strengthen them with the grace and the peace of your presence. Comfort us in our sorrows at the death of our sister Melissa. Let her faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to you our sister Melissa, who was reborn by water and the Spirit in holy baptism. Grant that her death may recall to us your victory over death and be an occasion for us to renew our trust in your Father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way and where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen.
I danced in the morning when the world was begun And I danced in the moon and the stars and the sun And I came down from heaven and I danced on the earth At Bethlehem I had my birth Dance then wherever you may be I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I lead you all wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced for the scribe and the Pharisee, they would not dance and they wouldn't follow me. So I danced for the fishermen, for James and John, they came with me and the dance went on. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I lead you all wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced on the Sabbath, and I cured the lame. The holy people said it was a shame. They whipped, and they stripped, and they hung me on high, and left me there on a cross to die. Dance then, wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. I danced on a Friday when the sky turned black. It's hard to dance with the devil on your back. They buried my body, they thought I'd gone, but I am the dance and I still go on. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he, and I lead you all wherever you may be, and I lead you all in the dance, said he. They cut me down and I leapt up high. I am the life that will never, never die. I live in you if you live in me. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. Dance then wherever you may be. I am the Lord of the dance, said he. And I lead you all wherever you may be. And I lead you all in the dance, said he. Come to your Holy Spirit, a reasonable, holy, and lively sacrifice, as this bread and wine become the body and blood of Christ. So may we and all your people the same Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give you thanks. 
Father Almighty, everlasting God, through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who rose victorious from the dead and comforts us with the blessed hope of life eternal. But to your faithful people, O Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when our mortal body lies in death, there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, Holy and gracious Father, all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, whom you sent to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. We therefore bring you these gifts, and we ask you to make them holy by the power of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, who offered himself in obedience to your will, the perfect sacrifice for all humankind. On the night Jesus was betrayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take this and eat it. This is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. And after supper, Jesus took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. Whenever you drink it, for the remembrance of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Father, calling to mind the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension, his continual intercession for us in heaven, and looking for his coming again in glory, we offer in thanksgiving this holy and life-giving sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering, and grant that you eat and drink these holy gifts may be filled with your Holy Spirit, and become one body in Christ and serve in unity, constancy, and peace. May make us a perpetual offering to you and enable us in communion with Blessed Mary, Blessed Andrew, and the whole company of heaven to share in the inheritance of your saints. Remember Melissa, in baptism she died with Christ. May she also share his resurrection when Christ will raise our mortal bodies and make them like his own in glory. Welcome into your kingdom, our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have left this world in your friendship. There we hope to share in your glory when every tear will be wiped away. On that day, 
we shall see you, our God, as you are, and we shall become like you and praise you forever through Christ our Lord, from whom all good things do come. With him and in him and through him, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, in song of everlasting praise. Blessing and honor and glory and power be yours forever and ever. Amen. As our Savior has taught us, so together we pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, our Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come. Your, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us, give us today our daily bread. Forgive, forgive us our, our sins as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. us. Save, Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the, For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. The Agnus Day has printed in the order of service, Together we say the Agnus Dei. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sin of the world, grant, grant her a rest. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sin of the world, grant, grant her a rest. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world, grant, grant her a rest eternally. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold he who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are invited to the Supper of the Lamb, the gifts of God, for the people of God. Our souls will feast, feast and, and be satisfied, satisfied, and we, we will sing glad songs of praise to, to him. Lord.
should buffet, though triumph should come. Let this blessed assurance control that Christ hath regarded my helpless estate and have shed his own blood for my soul. It is well with my soul. It is well. It is well with my soul. My sin, oh, the bliss of this glory. Thought. My sin, not in part, but the whole, is nailed to the cross, and I bear it no more. Praise the Lord.
post-communion prayers printed on page 7 of our order of service, page 7, the top of page 7. Jesus said, Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood abides in me and I in them. For my flesh is food indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood hath eternal life, and I will raise them up on the last day. Let us all stand for the post-communion prayer. We pray, Almighty God, we thank, thank you, you that in your great, great love, love you have fed us, us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, and have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be to us a comfort in affliction and a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all your saints, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Amen. Last night I lay a sleeping. There came a dream so fair. I stood in old Jerusalem beside the temple there. I heard the children singing, and ever as they sang, methought the voice of angels. From heaven in answer rang, methought the voice of angels from heaven in answer rang. Jerusalem, Jerusalem, lift up your gates and sing Hosanna in the highest Hosanna to your King And then, methought, my dream was changed. The streets no longer rang. Hushed were the glad hosannas. The little children sang. The sun grew dark with mystery. The morn was cold and chill. As a shadow off across a rose, Upon a lonely hill, as the shadow of a cross arose. Upon a lonely hill, Jerusalem, Jerusalem, hark. How the angels sing Hosanna in the highest Hosanna to your King
And once again the scene was changed, new earth there seemed to be. I saw the holy city beside the tideless sea. The light of God was on its streets, the gates were open wide, and all who would might enter, and no one was denied. No need of moon or stars by night or sun to shine by day it was the new jerusalem that would not pass away it was the new jerusalem that would not pass away Jerusalem Jerusalem sing for the night is o'er Hosanna in the The commendation has printed in our order of service. We now come to place in the arms of the Lord our sister Melissa as she rests in the sanctuary of the glory and presence of God. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant Melissa with your saints. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of humankind. And we are mortal, formed of the earth, and to earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying, You are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave we make our song, Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant. With your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sign but life everlasting. Let us commend our sister Melissa to the mercy of God, our Maker and Redeemer. Deliver your servant Melissa, o sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil, and set her free from every bond, that she may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitation. We with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
into your hands, O merciful Savior, we commend our sister Melissa. Acknowledge, we humbly beseech you, a sheep of your own fold, a lamb of your own flock, a sinner of your own redeeming. Receive her into the arms of your mercy, into the blessed rest of everlasting peace, and into the glorious company of the saints in light. Amen. Hallelujah, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Let us go forth in the name of Christ. Thanks be to God. eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He hath loosed the faithful lightning of his terrible sweet sword. His truth is marching on. Glory, glory. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah, his truth is marching on.
We sing from our memory banks, Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, they fail not. As thou art here, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, for me. to the garden alone while the dew is still on the roses printed at, on page 20 of the order of service page 20 I come to the garden alone I come to the
Christ our Passover has been sacrificed for us, so let us celebrate the feast, not with the old leaven of corruption and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin and alive to God in Jesus Christ, O Lord. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who sleep. For as by man came death, so by man has come also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The hymn, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine. Here of salvation, purchase of God. Born of his spirit, washed in his blood. This is my story, this is my song. Praise in my Savior all the day long. This is my story, this is my song. Praise in my Savior all the day long. Perfect submission, perfect delight. Jesus of rapture burst on my sight. Angels descending bring from above. Echoes of mercy, whispers of love. This is my story, this is my song. Praise you, my Savior. Submission, all is at rest. I in my Savior, happy and blessed. Watching and waiting, looking above. Filled with his goodness, lost in his love. This is my story, this is my song. Crazy, my Savior. This is my story, this is my song, crazy my Savior all the day long. I'm not going there today. I'm not going there today. Hear me? I'm not going there today. Okay? Let us pray. Unto him who is able to keep us from falling and present us before his throne of glory. To the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.